Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, June the 29th. Tomorrow will be the last day of June. Hardly can believe it. But today is music day for Kylie. She has violin at 2.45 today. It's actually a really, really rainy day here today. But Amy is feeling better today, which is really good. And hopefully no one is sick with the virus right now. Everybody's good. So hopefully it stays that way. We have four in the family that have not gotten it yet. But that is Josh, Kylie, Emily, and Holly that have not gotten it yet. So hopefully they don't. Hopefully they stay well. But anyway, we're already past lunchtime. Clean up from lunchtime is done and all of that. We just had um, sandwiches today and chicken. Uh, Amy wanted chicken noodle soup, so I fixed that for her. And we're going to leave soon for violin. I don't know if Josh is going to take her or if I'm going to take her because um, he's off today with it raining. He got some work in this morning, but then it started pouring down rain, so he's off for the rest of the day today. Amy wanted to wear a pair of my socks today, so I said, sure. They're little llama socks. They're so cute. So she's got a pair of my socks on, and then I've got a pair of my socks on the floors are kind of chilly today even though it is warm it's kind of chilly in here today on the floors but do y'all remember me dropping my cushions off just yesterday to get my glider fixed <laughs> uh i went and got them covered and she's like they should be done this week which was already blew my mind because that was quicker than i was thinking i was thinking maybe two to three weeks she called this morning with them done like the next day they're done i'm so excited so like I told y'all before, this glider is super special to me. It's about 16 years old. I've rocked all of my babies in it, so I definitely wanted to rock this new baby in it. So it is done, and I'm going to show you how it turned out. It's beautiful. I picked the fabric out from Hobby Lobby, and she just, she made it look perfect. But here it is. Isn't that so pretty, y'all? I just love the black and white checkered. I uh, couldn't decide on prints, so I was sending pictures to Josh while I was in Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago. And this is the one we decided on. I just love it. I mean, she like even put the little buttons that were in it back in it. The cord around it. Um, she put extra padding in there so it's super soft. Like you can tell this chair is really worn after all of these years. Josh was actually thinking about painting it for me. But I don't know. I, I kind of like the original um, with the kind of rough look because it's just it's just so special. So I'm glad to have it. Um, if you remember my last one, it had a big hole right here. The fabric was coming off of it. It was just like really falling apart. So I'm really, really happy with it. I just threw in a very small load of baby clothes. <clears throat> I'm going to wash real quick. I think this is the last few things that actually need to be washed before she gets here. I washed everything else. So this is the last little load of her clothes that I need to wash. And this right here is just what I use for baby clothes. Um, I've used Tide. I've used All Free and Gentle. And I've used Drift, I think. So I've used all of those. So I'm going to put some of this in here and get her clothes washed up. And I want to show you all this basket that I got set up this morning for baby girl. This is just going to sit right here on this table right beside this couch. Um, and what this has in it is just a lot of baby's things. I've got a bag of baby wipes. These things right here are called peekapoos. This is like if a baby has a blowout or something like that, which you know happens with newborns. You just take that out. It's like a disposable changing pad pretty much. You just lay it on the couch or wherever you're changing the baby at. And it does make a mess everywhere. So I've got some of those in there. I've got her newborn diapers here. And then this is just some diaper rash cream just in case it's needed for any reason. I've got four of my nursing pads here just in case I need to change nursing pads. I don't want to run all the way upstairs. I've got a little nose aspirator in there just in case I need to suck her little nose out. This is a burp cloth. That's always a good thing to always have on hand because a baby spit up. I have an extra outfit here just in case there is a blowout or spit up. You know, with newborns, I am constantly changing them. They spit up so much or have dirty diapers. So, got that there. And then I've got a little swaddle blanket here, just an extra one to have on hand as well. So, and it has handles. That way, I can keep it right here beside the couch but at night when I head upstairs to go to sleep I can always just take this or have Josh carry it up and put it right beside my bed which I already have some things beside my bed anyway but I'm just saying it's convenient ready to go wherever I need to go through the house so that is going to stay right here in this living room beside the couch where I can get to it if I need it and these are the peekapoos I was just telling you about I ordered these off of Amazon I got a big bag of them I'm actually probably going to have these upstairs, downstairs, and some in the car as well because I've had to change dirty diapers in the seat of the van before. So I probably have some of those out there. I'll link these down below. They came from Amazon. All right, so Josh and Kylie just left. He is headed to take her to violin, and while she's in there, he has 45 minutes because her lessons are 45 minutes. So he is going to stop by 
and vacuum my car out, get it cleaned out. Um, we've had, we were gonna go and get a detail twice and never did make it. So um, while he's out, he's just gonna go by the car wash and kind of clean it out and vacuum it. And while he's gone doing that and the kids are kind of just hanging out, I've got my pot out. I've got bottles. I've actually got several different um, bottles this time. I've got Mandela bottles. I've got these bottles and then I've also got these bottles. So I've got all of these bottles I need to get washed up before she comes. I've been telling myself I want to do this in the 35th week of my pregnancy. 35 weeks in two days, so today's today. And then I have this. This is just the bottle drying rack that I'm going to place them on after I get them all clean. So I'm going to get started on this and get some bottles washed up. So it is like a few hours later now. Got all those bottles washed. They're still on the bottle rack drying. Um, and normally I'll go ahead and like use uh, soapy water and wash them again before I give them to baby. So that's done. And Josh got my car cleaned out and vacuumed. I just got a few things I need to get out of there. But what time is it? I don't even know what time it is, y'all. It's just a few minutes till 7. Hey, Natalie. Just a few minutes till 7. We're outside. It's really hot out here. Josh is out there getting the garage all cleaned up. It looks so good. We had so much stuff in the garage, but he's got a lot of it cleaned out now. But we've already had dinner, and all the kids, including myself, we had a popsicle. How did you, you enjoy your popsicle? Yeah. A little red face. We've got to go in and do baths. Um, and just start getting people ready for bed soon. Mom is taking me a bath. I'm giving you a bath, right? For some reason, all my kids, when they're little, they say, taking me a bath instead of giving me a bath. It takes a little while, but they get it. Giving me a bath. Mama's giving me a bath, right? Let and I ate a popsicle. A strawberry popsicle. Mm, it had real strawberries in it. So, anyway, Josh is out there finishing the garage. We're hanging out on the porch. I'm about to go inside, though, because it's hot. Trying to reserve a pool for this weekend. Um, it's in the, another city, and you can actually rent their pools where nobody else is there, and they have lifeguards that are included in that price. So, we are trying and they ha to and rent a pool for this weekend. And they have a kiddie pool. They do. They have a kiddie pool. I just thought that would be so nice before I have the baby to and go out to a pool. And it has a deep end pool. It has a deep end, yeah, and it has the four foot end, and it has a separate kiddie pool. It would be so nice to get and take some weight off and do this before baby comes. So hopefully, I'm waiting for email back to see if they have a spot available. It's highly unlikely with it being the 4th of July weekend, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, look, I got a crowd with me now. So the garage out here looks so much better and so good. So here's all the bikes. we got to get like a bike rack or something for in here, I think. I wish I had somewhere else to put the bicycles. We need a bike rack for it. I would just take all of this off to donation somewhere. Daddy, you should um, do this as a yard sale. Okay, let's check it out. Daddy, it's just so hot to do a yard Daddy, sale. Daddy, why don't we do a yard sale and, and do a lemonade stand? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? But that's what he's been working on, and now I'm back inside. Oh, it's so cold in here. I'm so thankful for air conditioning. I'm gonna go ahead and get Natalie in the bath. Emily was sweet and she volunteered to give Everly a bath. So Everly's clean. I'm gonna bathe Natalie and Bethany. Amy can bathe herself. My battery cut out on me as I was saying. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the bath. So I had to let it charge for a while. They're out of the bath though. They've been out of the bath actually. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We're about to get their teeth brushed. Get the two little ones laid down. We always get our two smallest laid down first, which is our three year old and two year old. They share this room that I'm in actually. Um, we'll get them laid down. And then shortly after that, we get uh, our, the next two, which is five and six. We get them with their teeth brushed and get them laying down, settle down. And then our older girls stay with us until the school, school days are 9.30. But now that summer break, we've been letting them stay up till 10, 10.30, even 11. Um, and then when they go to the basement, they're allowed to have some TV time until whatever time we say or until they fall asleep just because we're on summer break and things are different the routine's different so anyway 
but we keep the routine pretty much the same for the little two little ones um they go to bed at eight through the school but uh 8 30 between 8 30 and 9 through the summer so that is what we're about to do i'm about to get them laid down i'm happy with all that i got done today with getting her basket ready getting her bottles washed josh got the garage cleaned out he got my car vacuumed i feel like we're making progress and all that makes me feel good even though i know baby could care less about any of this stuff like at all i care about it and i always have like i just want to get things done i know all you mamas out there that's had babies understand what i'm saying you just want to get all the things done before baby comes home you just want it to be clean and all the things checked off your list but anyway y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all enjoyed this little nest with me vlog that i did today and i thank y'all so much for watching also if you're not following me over on instagram go follow me at abiding dot farmhouse because um that is where i will share like my labor i will share like all my stories like how the labor is going i'll share when she's first born like instagram will see all of that before youtube does just because it's so much easier just to pick up my phone with instagram on the little app and record than it is uploading a video so if you're interested in seeing when i go into labor all of that stuff before youtube does go follow me over on instagram because i'll be sharing there before i share here of course i'll share with you all but i'll be sharing there first anyway y'all that is going to be it for today's vlog i thank y'all so much for watching if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in the comments bye